Okay, welcome guys. So I'm going to try to answer these questions the best I can. I got a little note notes here for me. So one of the questions deals with um, uh, your philosophy as a teacher and the other deals with a success or failure in an assignment uh, that you gave that was some type of interactive um, student involved um, a assignment. And um, so the questions are a little from one to the other, a little different, but so I'm going to talk about a, a semi success and semi failure in terms of, in terms of my teaching philosophy. Um, the first thing I'm really concerned with is the Socratic method, um, question and answer. Uh, and, um, I have to lecture for a certain point of portion of my classes inevitably, um, cause they're just facts I need to kind of download in students' heads. But um, uh, yeah, obviously the whole point of the Socratic method is number one, to have students speak, but also for them to be reaching the conclusions rather than the teacher spoon feeding them. And that engages them in a certain way that um, they otherwise wouldn't be engaged if you're just an A and B and C and D. And of course they take ownership of what they're talking about because it's the result of the product of, of their thinking. And um, it, uh, Socratic ver method is really uh, a kind of um, uh, a version of that thing where uh, the film or the book does not spell everything out and the reader or the viewer has to infer certain things that are going on because the, the, they don't tell you explicitly what they are and it forces you to be engaged and use your mind to reach uh, your, your own conclusions. Um, so that's the first part. And then as a literature class, we're, we're text-based, which means that uh, whenever we're talking about some aspect of the text, I want the students to have it in front of us and we read it aloud and then talk about it so we all know exactly what we're talking about because we've literally just read it in the class. It's like having your hymnal there in, in church or you're having the Bible there to, um, you know, read read chapter and verse and then, you know, to interpret that, that story. And it's really important that it, uh, having the book there, having the text allows us to all be on the same page. So... That said, the one assignment I've done is an oral presentation where students are assigned sections uh, of a text, and um, they have to present various aspects, uh, various aspects of them: character, the narrative, uh, the plot, uh, re related to a theme. And uh, a couple of the problems I, I found this as a way of displacing myself and having the students out front instead of myself, so they don't get too bored all the time. And normally I do this in the it, like after the midterm section of the semester, at that kind of down tick where everyone's kind of lost their their excitement edge. And um, and so uh, what I what I found was is that students would only read the section of the book that they were presenting and when other people presented um they had not read that section and they were less engaged and so one of the ironic things that i discovered about having the students present is that not everybody had read the whole book because they only read their section and actually in some ways it decreased engagement because when you had a presentation for example that wasn't strong um, the students, uh, the other students would kind of like fade off and not pay attention, not show respect to that student, even, even when you had said things like, please, please show respect and, and so on. And I even had the, uh, the presenter provide a question for everyone in advance so they could think about it and then answer it when it was asked. And I had varying degrees of success with that. Um, partly because the quality of the presentations varied a lot, especially when you have things like uh, people, English is not their first language and, and, and or stage fright. Definitely a handful of students every semester had a certain amount of stage fright. So those kind of things entered in. And um, so this isn't the project that I'm revising, but these were some of the concern, you know, some of the conclusions I reached after uh, having, um, you know, attempting to do that interactive type thing. And since we've been in the online format, I've nixed that assignment um, because the online format uh, uh, just we have limited time and I just thought it'd be too complicated to do it. And there were things I needed to touch on. So that's my story and I'm sticking to it. Uh, have a great day.